Hey, what's going on, fellas? The following video archive is some footage that will be used in a waste oil burner book that I've been putting together for the last couple of years. This book's going to be fairly technical, so it's going to cover a lot of different designs and attributes of these systems. And this particular video is on diesel burners because this isn't just going to be a waste oil burner book. It's going to be the type of book that a guy might uh, pick up because he just built some type of smelting machine and he needs to melt 500 pounds of cast iron, you know, or just any type of off the wall heating application that you can think of. So that's kind of what we got going on here in this video. This is some footage from back in September of 2022. And this is a diesel combustion system. This is basically a jet engine with a leaf blower on the back of it. And I wanted to see how much power I could get out of a setup like this. Now the person I built this for is actually going to be using it for agricultural purposes in California. But I wanted to see what it could do uh, on extremely high settings. It will never be used by the person who bought it from me at these settings but this gave me a wonderful opportunity to observe the effects of running a diesel combustion system at extremely high air input well I can, this leaf blower is on full power at some points and I've never been able to build a combustion system like this that could take all the air I can give it and this one just won't go out I feel like we could put a uh, a three-stage blower on this thing and the, the sucker take flight. It, it literally about launches off the test stand when it's at full power. But um, this is just a single stage blower, so we're at a maximum of one PSI. All right, so bear with me, fellas. One of the attributes of this book is that some of the videos I have are gonna be labeled by number. So you're gonna be able to look at the book and it's gonna say, Check out video 875 on YouTube channel No Box 7 and you will see this burner actually running. So it's going to have diagrams in the book and some pictures, but you're actually going to be able to get a video number and go straight to YouTube and see the machine that you may build actually in action. So I'm over a thousand videos right now, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to number these things other than number because it would take a long time to actually sit there and do that. Just, you know, look at the videos and number them all. Either. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. But there's going to be some mechanism to where whoever buys this book can look at the diagrams, look at the information, and then actually see the thing working so that they know I'm not just blowing smoke. That's going to be one of the coolest things about the book, I think, is it's going to have the video archive with it so this isn't necessarily just for entertainment so you're gonna see a lot of flame shots here you see here this is the flame that the person who bought this from me is gonna be using a flame about this big they've got some agricultural sterilization they needed done and, and some other stuff and this was gonna be a good device for that so anyway it's just, I want to see this thing running at different levels to see what it can do. I'm amazed at the stability of the flame. No matter how high I turn up the blower or how low I turn it down, it stays lit. And that's a pretty much a good hallmark of any great burner is that it has great stability. Um, this is the way it's actually going to be used. It's going to be sticking off the back of a tractor and it's going to be burning a lot of um, different things you know anything from sterilizing uh, the ground where chickens were at to burning away snake ridden foliage all that kind of stuff they've on farms there's a lot of stuff they do with equipment like this incinerating pigs and chickens is a big deal so this would make a great uh, animal carcass incinerator as well but um, in the book, the dimensions I actually used to build this will be in there. And, you know, you can change it up quite a bit. This thing would also make a great cast iron smelter if you run it at uh, the higher levels of uh, air input. The blower's on very low right now. There's hardly no air 
we're at like 25% blower power and it runs like this, check this out. So, this is what the inside of the combustion chamber looks like. You can see there that we're burning some ash off that outer wall. Pretty cool. It's kind of hard to get in the way. The air coming out of that thing is still really hot. A little bit of ash there on the front looks like for me. That's for me running it very rich during the test. Here's some daytime testing. Just kind of checking this thing out. Uh, as I said, you can turn this blower up to full blast and it really just doesn't care. And that just kind of speaks for the stability of this configuration. I'm kind of glad that it worked out as well as it did. I just kind of winged it a little bit on the, uh, the combustor can. I used intuition, of course, you know, to kind of figure out how many holes it needed and where they might want to be. So I did my best to kind of ponder the whole concept, but I didn't use any math or anything like that. There's the boots that China sent me to test out for them. I told them I'd do a review, and the boots suck. They hurt your feet, and you know, I, I, I had to put some kind of footage of them on there just for the sake of, I told them I would. I didn't say they would like it, but uh, that's all they're getting. They're gonna send me something that crappy. So here it is, almost full power. Now I could turn the fuel up and get this thing to work better, but uh, I'm just kind of looking at it, see if it'll blow out. That's what I want to know. Will the thing blow out on me? We are pumping so much air through that thing right there. And I may be adding fuel to this. I can't remember. As I said, this is old footage that I've lost. And I got so busy, I didn't have time to upload it. So, if you bought my book and you're listening to me babble right now, I totally apologize for that. I should just shut up and let you watch it at this point, but uh, this is what we got. This is the design, and um, I think this is a good one. I don't know why I was running at that much fuel pressure right there. It doesn't have to. I'm experimenting, I guess, would be the best explanation for that. I just wanted to see what would happen here and there. And uh, this is a high fire mode. If you need a big flame, this thing can definitely do it. Like if you want to do some uh, some lime, calcine, or calcine, some lime, making concrete, whatever, like a concrete kiln, you can burn almost any fuel in this thing. So. There it is, I'm shutting up. If you live through this, then uh, you are a trooper. I apologize, I didn't have something more interesting to say. Finn.